Thank you, Madam Speaker. <sighs> Members, many of you who have known me for many years you know that I always wear this rainbow ribbon on my lapel. And you know why I wear it. It was created by Ben Johansson of the Orlando Ribbon Project in solidarity with those who were impacted by the tragedy at Pulse Nightclub, 49 mostly LGBTQ people of color who were murdered by hate in my community. It's why I wear it. And today, I had a few people come up to me who saw the ribbon was upside down. And they notified me that I should fix it but I told them I meant for it to be upside down as a symbol that the LGBTQ community in Florida is in distress. We are in distress because this bill is yet another attack on our community. People keep asking, why do you call it the don't say gay bill? We call it the Don't Say Gay Bill because it prohibits classroom instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity. But members, this bill goes way beyond the text on the page. It sends a terrible message to our youth that there is something so wrong, so inappropriate, so dangerous about this topic that we have to censor it from classroom instruction. I checked Florida statute just to be sure. I wanted to look at other text on the books to see if we censored any other topics in the classroom in this way and that we enumerated it in this way as we do sexual orientation and gender identity. I couldn't find anything. Are there sections in Florida statute that restrict conversations about life and death? No. Are there sections of Florida statute that restrict sensitive topics like abortion? No. So it's just us. The sponsor says that the bill is not about censoring discussion. It's just instruction. But the bill has no cross-reference to any definition of classroom instruction. So to keep it vague and to create an environment of fear and censorship. But members, you're not prohibiting or censoring conversations about sexual education here. That's not what you're doing. And I've seen that conflated so many times. We can't be talking to our kids about this. The Senate sponsor said, we can't be talking to kids this age about sexual things. The bill doesn't prohibit classroom discussion on sexual things. It prohibits instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity. That's not an act. It's not a thing either. We are referring to an entire community of people. What hit me today was conversations with our young people that I didn't expect. And the speaker asked me not to make it personal. And I've been sitting on that for a couple days. 
And I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't not make it personal. A page was in an elevator earlier today and saw one of the members of our caucus, and the page asked, do you think that the don't say gay bill is going to pass? Members, what are we doing? I had two pages that came up to me on the floor today to thank me for standing up for LGBTQ youth. The pages told me that they were in tears when they heard my debate. I want to make sure that for those LGBTQ youth in Florida and around the country and in the world who are watching, I want to make sure that they know this. You are loved. You are supported. And we will wake up every single day to fight for you because you are worth fighting for. I didn't get a chance to debate on the floor on the previous bill, but I feel like there's a theme here because we're passing legislation to censor our workplaces, our schools, our teachers, but I can tell you right now, you're not going to censor me as a state rep. That's right. That's right. Just like every one of you, I was elected to represent my constituents. And it is my job to use my voice to stand up for them. And I have a tremendous amount of respect for all of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle. And I want to make sure that everyone knows, before you cast your vote on this bill, I don't think if you vote yes, I don't think you're homophobic. I don't think you're transphobic. I don't. But let's remember the people out there calling your colleagues like me and Representative Rayner and other LGBTQ people, pedophiles, groomers, perverts, they want you to hit that green button. They're rallying behind the bill. Think about that. Are you doing this for them? And if not, who are we doing this for, members? Please vote down on this very bad bill. Representative Will Height, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker.